Good evening, everybody. My name is Bubby Craft, and this is how to build RWS Duck, or my version of him, anyway. So let's go ahead and just give a quick little look over here. And I want to give a very, very, very quick disclaimer as well. There is currently no bogey that would look appropriate for RWS Duck. And because of this, I chose to go with the one that's closest to the original engine that Duck is based off of, the Pannier tank engine, with this little bit of a gap in between the uh, back wheel and the middle wheel. So that's, that's what I'm doing. And come, let's uh, go ahead and get started with this. So we want to use through the extended bogies mod again through the extended bogies mod. We want to use the long, I'm sorry, the short extended 060. We'll place that down. Once again, this is through the extended bogies mod. I can't stress this enough because every time I only stress it once or twice, I get comments saying, hey, I can't find those wheels. Well, do you have the extended bogies mod? No, what's that? Well, you could need to get the extended bogies mod um, in order to be able to use this type of wheel set right here. All right, next thing that we want to do is we want to grab some black local metal, put that in our palette because we're not really going to be using too many other blocks. We're going to place the black logo metal in our offhand and go ahead and start putting down a bit of a shape around the wheels here. Let's get rid of that. Perfect. Why does it just keep placing it wherever it wants? All right, there we go. And then one more. Excellent. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight by three. Okay, our next step is going to be to place down three pieces of the lime riveted local metal on the back. And then what we want to do is we want to place down a bunch of copycat half layers. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Perfect. Now we want to go ahead and grab a hold of our copycat bites and place down a row of the copycat bites and fill those in with the green lime green local metal. Then you want to place down a whoops. Where is it? Copycat half panel. Right there. And right there. From here, what we want to do is we're going to place down one and then click it again of the vertical slice. One and then click it again. If you're using my mod pack, we're going to be using the from the Dave's Building Extended light gray cow catcher and we're gonna click it so that way it spins itself around and it looks like it's a handrail connected uh, to the side here and then just do the same thing on the other side fill in these guys like this and then we're gonna just leave that blank for right now the next thing that we want to do is we want to replace that with our copycat half layers. Temporarily bring up these all the way. Okay, grabbed our copycat half panel. Now what we want to do is temporarily raise these guys up. So that way we can place down copycat half panels right there. And then just take your wrench and crouch and click them back down. Excellent. Our next step is going to be to place down a copycat vertical slice there and there. Fill in those vertical slices with the lime logo metal. And then we want to move towards building our middle section now. 
what we're going to grab is a copycat board. And we're going to temporarily place a row of blocks right there. And we're going to extend that temporary row out to make like the letter C on duck like that. Take your board and place one there, 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 and there. And then you can remove your temporary blocks. Fill in your sides with the lime weld metal. And what we want to do is we want to place down on top of that guy a temporary and a temporary place a copycat half panel like that remove your temporaries crouch and click oh wait actually no we don't want to crouch and click fill in those half panels with the line of metal and we're going to move on to building the boiler so you can place the lime mocha metal in your offhand and we want to build a half panel or what is that called half panel or so i don't know built this shape extend it out to make it look like a stair and then just keep going all the way and stop right before this slab that's what they're called slabs Repeat the same thing on the other side. Again, stopping right before this front slab. The next thing that we want to do, take the cup or take the lime local metal out of your offhand, place down a blank bite there, and a blank couple of bites there. There and there. Perfect. What we want to go from here is we want to grab the plated lime local metal, fill in the copycat bites right there, grab yourself a black plated local metal, and fill in those bites there. While we have the black local metal, grab the smoke box. And what I liked, what I liked, is putting the smoke box up like that, just so it's kind of something different on the inside of the cab. I don't know. I thought it was kind of cool. Grab yourself a copycat panel now, as we no longer need the board. Place that copycat panel right there, and fill that in with the lime ribbon of local metal. You can fill in those two the lime riveted local metal and I'm going to move on to building the rest of the boiler grab yourself a copycat layer put the lime local metal in your offhand and we're going to click up five times one two three four five five two three four five do the same thing on the other side. Perfect. Again, what we want to do is grab the black boiler, or black local metal smoke box, whatever you want to call it. Place three of them in so they're facing up like that. Grab a wood burner smokestack, place that wood burner smokestack right there, right click it so it stops producing smoke, grab a coal burner smokestack, shift click or crouch click, place the coal burner smokestack down like so, grab yourself a copycat headstock as well as a copycat half panel. Place down the half panel on the bottom there and the headstock right there. Grab yourself the black local metal smoke box and fill those in like so. What we're gonna do also is place down a slice 
along uh, along the bottom half of those layers that we just placed. And then you're going to place a slice here and here and two half panels right there. So again, a slice here and here and two half panels. But also don't forget to run your, la your line of slices along the side as well. Perfect. What we want to focus on next is filling in the back half of our boiler. We're going to place down a layer set so that we're just peeking over by one right there. Grab your half layers and we're going to place down as many as it will allow and then one on top, or I'm sorry, two on top of it. And then your second row is going to match up with what you just did with this layer here. Now we want to grab a fluid tank and a whistle. Place that fluid tank here, the whistle on top, right click the whistle so that it becomes the smallest one. to grab some lime riveted local metal fill in the center of our boiler you can also grab the white riveted local metal and fill in your row of slices that you did to act as the grab irons or handrails whatever you want to call it for duck and then fill in these bottom two ones with green like so. Grab some yellow plated local metal, or yellow riveted local metal, and fill in those, and that's going to look like his GWR logo. We're going to place down a slice there, and click it twice. Slice twice, and again, place down, or fill it with the uh, cow catcher. The gray, yeah, the light gray cow catcher. So those are the handrails to climb up into duck. We are going to grab a hold of the black riveted local metal, place it on our offhand, and run a line of slices all the way down through. Skip that one. Place one here, skip that one. Run the slices all the way down through. Excellent. We're going to grab our copycat buffer and our copycat coupler, like so, and like so. And what I'm doing is I'm placing the red local metal pillar in the middle and then regular red local metal on either side that and like that and because this is part of my railroad on the island of Sodor I'm placing down these marker marker flags or rails or rods or whatever you want to call them just because all of the other locomotives in my RWS style had those rods Excellent. Our next step, I'm going to grab some bamboo glass. We're going to place some bamboo glass right there. And to place down the windows that are going to go here, what we're going to do is we're actually going to remove these temporarily. Place down a couple of temporary blocks. Put those guys there. Remove your temporary blocks. Put back down your layers. And then fill those with the glass. We're gonna grab a copycat panel. Place that copycat panel with some green in the middle. 
I did do a copycat board on the original one, but it just still so that it you actually could do a copycat board that might actually look a little bit better. Let's see. Yeah, that does kind of look a little bit better. I don't know. It's just my opinion. You guys can do whatever you want. We're gonna grab some train controls and a seat. I'm realizing I forgot to put a seat on the other guy. Let's solve that problem. We're gonna place a copycat half panel. Delete this. Wait a second. Why didn't it let me put that there? And never mind, we don't have to do that. Just put your seat down right there. That was weird. Okay. We're on the final stretch now. We're gonna grab some copycat layers, some coal, and make sure that you have your copycat half layer as well. Fill these guys in with coal. What I did was I shift or crouch clicked that to give it, make it look a little bit lower. And then I brought these up slightly so that way. Maybe we'll do the taller one in the middle. Yeah, I think the taller one in the middle. And let's make that one smaller. Well, I don't know, I kind of like... I kind of liked that. Let's do that. Perfect. Now grab yourself a deep slate tile. Placing that deep slate tile in your offhand. We're going to place down a layer roof just like we normally do. Click it up so that it's level three in the middle, level two on either side. Grab your slices, put your slices there. We're going to place some slices on the back here just to fill out that roof a little bit more and have the roof kind of going over that back. Because I, I know this doesn't really look realistic to a panty or tank locomotive, but it's limitations of Minecraft, etc, etc, etc. It's what we have to work with, so it's what we're going to work with. Perfect. Next thing that we want to do is we want to just double check and make sure that we're not missing anything. It looks like the only thing that I'm missing is a couple of copycat bites. Place those bites right there and right there. And click the top of them with the Lime Local Metal Smoke Box. That gives the RWS duck the little boxes he has in the front of him. And then we want to grab a copycat ladder right here and place a copycat ladder here and a copycat ladder here. Now RWS duck does have what looks like another set of ladders there. And there and the picture from the thumbnail so you can choose to do that if you want it's up to you I just like it like that and like that but you know what now that I think about it the reason I didn't do that when I first built him was because I didn't like how this didn't really connect but honestly that breaks up the breaks up the build a little bit and it kind of makes it look cool in my opinion. Yeah. I think that's kind of neat. Let's go with that. 
All right. Grab yourself some blue as part of the last step. You're going to place down a temporary block in this back corner and click up once. Start your bead of glue here and end your bead of glue on this vertical slice right here. If you chose not to do these vertical slices, just put a temporary block where I've got that vertical slice and put your bead of glue there. Let's go ahead and take him out of build mode. Climb in, take a seat. And just go for a drive. And that, folks, is how you build yourself an RWS duck. My interpretation of it. I understand that he's not going to look exactly like duck and he's not going to look exactly like the picture in the thumbnail, but I did the best I could with what I had available to me, and honestly, I like the way this came out. I like the shape, I like the, the design, everything. I just think he looks really spiffy, especially with having that space in between the back and middle wheels, just like the pannier itself, the, like the real-life locomotive. Um, yeah, it's just really, really, really cool. In my opinion, I think it's really cool. You guys might not, you might think it's weird, you might hate it, whatever. But uh, as, as we say at the end of every episode, make sure that if you like the video, please like the video. Leave a comment telling me something that, um, you know, might look different or might look cool on the locomotive. If you dislike the video, dislike the video. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. We know we try to do these every Saturday. It's going to be an RWS locomotive until I run out. And every Wednesday has been um, the TV series style locomotives. And yeah, that's pretty much all I've got for you today. Thanks very much for watching and have a great rest of your weekend. Okay, love you. Bye.